Hello everyone, I'm Garrett and these are mobile game reviews from Mob.org. Well, let's go. Today, we'll talk about the game Blood Sword, which is considered to be an RPG for some unknown reason. And if you also thought so, I'd be upset with you. It's just not the case. RPG is an abbreviation that means a role-playing game. Main elements of the game are dialogues, quests, ramified plot, and decision-making, but not a man with a sword, as many people think. When you simply chop monsters, the game's called a slasher, so it's very strange that even the developers got confused with the definition of the genre. There's only one character there. That's why, if you want to become a mage, it's the wrong game. It has no skill upgrades at all. And what kind of RPG is that? At the beginning, we see an animated image with three lines of text. The lines sum up the plot of the entire game. That's sad. A game without plot is like a woman without boobs. Looks like a woman, but there is definitely something missing. Well, anyway, tastes differ. The first thing that catches your eye when the game starts is the graphics. Bloodsword was specifically made to show all of the features of the third and the fourth Tegra. I think it completely meets the challenge because the graphics and effects are absolutely flawless and everything looks really cool. Controls are standard for third-person games. There are two modes, gestures and interface. Gesture mode has only two combo keys on the screen, and the other mode has all the action keys on the right and the joystick on the left. As you see, everything is as usual and not too complicated. Now let's talk about the gameplay. In fact, everything you have to do is slash through hordes of enemies and kill the boss at the end. It's not easy to slash through. There are tons of enemies and they hit pretty hard. So the game tactics, especially in battles with bosses, come down to the notorious hit and run. That is, you make a series of combos and then when you have a little health left, you run around until it comes back. That happens pretty quickly too. By the way, combos are an effective thing against crowds as well as against big and fat opponents. Each of two combos has its own cooldown time. That is, you use it and you have to wait for it to recharge before you can use it again. Ah, something else. If you happen to be killed, you have to start all the way at the beginning. There are no checkpoints. But you know what infuriated me? The sound. To be more precise, the character's voice. The thing is that our man with the sword accompanies every blow with yeah. The sound is just the same over and over again. And since the only thing we do is swing blows, the sound repeats itself again and again. It starts to seriously offend the ear within a couple minutes of gameplay. Let's sum up. The game pluses are beautiful graphics, dynamic gameplay, and epic fights with bosses. The minuses? No real plot, lack of checkpoints. By the way, sometimes it seems to me that the gameplay time was artificially extended by the number of mobs, size of bosses, and lack of checkpoints. Oh, and yeah! That I will possibly see in my dreams. Couldn't they have recorded at least three or four cries? But I liked the game as a whole, and I advise you, my dear viewer, to download the game and check it out. That's all for today. If you liked the review, subscribe, comment, and tell everybody about it. This was Garrett and reviews from Mob.org. Bye bye.